Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Candy and this is Stuff and Budget. We are going to be doing a few things today. We are going to be playing in our Thanksgiving box, in our Christmas box, and we are also going to be stuffing our Christmas binder. So let's get into it. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna jump right in. We are gonna start playing our Thanksgiving box. And this time I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I put aside certain amount of money for my Thanksgiving box, my Christmas box, and then my Christmas binder. So we are going to be doing lots of things today. So for our Thanksgiving binder, we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, $50. So I set aside $50 to play in our Thanksgiving binder. And then I think I showed you guys the last time that I had put a little bit of money away here. I still haven't decorated this. I just haven't had a chance to. I've been trying to do a whole bunch of other things. So we are going to be adding in 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars to our $50. So that makes $69, I think. <laughs> Yes, okay, um, we are all set to go. And so I feel like what I wanted to just touch on really quick was last time I played, we got the build a s'more card and I was a little confused on what to do with the build a s'more card. And I noticed that it did have this icon on there and several people in the comments were saying, whatever card I choose, that's what I mark off. But for the build a s'more cards, there's only four of them. So what I did was I went back and I watched GB's video from Income Babes on the Thanksgiving box. And the build a s'more is just if you pick one of those cards, you come to this challenge and you pick whichever amount you want to save. So it's just a little bonus savings for you to choose which icon you want to save for. So I just wanted to clear that up really quick. And then I believe I just went ahead and shuffled that card back in here. So let's go ahead and give these cards a shuffle and we shall go ahead and start. So our first card is going to be roll and search and we are gonna add $10. So let's go ahead and get our dice tower in the mix here. And let's go ahead and roll that. So number one, number one is this leaf. So we are going to go ahead and I believe try to find the leaf. And here it is. And it is $13 and it says add $10. So it's gonna be a total of $23. So we are gonna get 10, 20, one, two, and three. All right. So that is going to go in here. And, oh, I already have money in here. So I have $5 in here already. So let's see, all together now, 10, 25, 26, 27, $28 in our section three. And I don't know what to do. Do I mark that off? Because why do I have $5 in there, you guys? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back and watch it. Maybe I won't. But, and then do I cross this guy off? See, I guess I just didn't pay attention very well, right? Okay, I'm going to just cross that guy off because we already did it. And then, you know what? I think I'll cross this guy off there. Okay, and then we are just gonna put this, I don't know, do I just, maybe I'll shuffle that in next time, okay. And I'm new to these box games, you guys, so I'm not gonna be perfect. I am figuring things out as I go, and I know it might seem a little bit confusing to some people, so I apologize. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Okay, next card is a search and save, so we are going to find the little gnome. And let's see, oh, that's why because we did this. We found the little gnome and then we added a dollar because the gnome is $4. So we are going to add in, let's just color in number two. And so we are going to add in, what should I do? There we go. We're gonna add in $2. So two plus the $4 is going to be $6. So let's go ahead and add $6 into here. 
So we are going to grab a five and a six. All right. So let's put that back. And that's the reason why I didn't cross off the gnome is because he is here. And so maybe I shouldn't have crossed off the leaf. I don't know. But you know what? We're figuring it out as we go. All right. And now we have an other, uh, other sweater. <laughs> we have an ugly sweater and it says skip three. So this is kind of like a bonus. If you get this, you can skip three cards. So let's leave that there in case I want to skip a card. All right. We got another ugly sweater. So that's a skip two. And those are in case you get a high card and you need to skip it. All right. So we got a build a s'more. So see guys, this is like the little marshmallow on the stick. And so we can choose whatever we want to save here. So let's just go ahead and put a dollar in here. All right, so we're gonna add a dollar in here and we will cross off a marshmallow. And I'm gonna put this to the side. I will shuffle those in next time, but for each gameplay, I'm gonna leave them whatever I choose, whatever cards I choose, I'm gonna leave those to the side for now. All right, next up, oh, I got lots of skips, you guys. Okay, order a small cuppa. So a cuppa, we are gonna go to the little cafe, and then here is our menu. So we have to order a small cuppa, and so we are gonna add $2 to whatever drink we want. So let's go ahead and choose a, let's see. What are we adding? We're adding a dollar. So let's go ahead and do this $4 one and we'll add a dollar. That means we are gonna put $5 in this envelope. Okay, so let's cross that one off. Grab a five here and put that in. All right. This is so much fun. How many of you guys out there are playing this Thanksgiving box? All right, search and save. There's some pumpkins there. So let's go ahead and find these pumpkins in our sections and here it is in section one so the pumpkins are worth seven dollars and so we can choose to add one two or three why don't we just go ahead and add the three dollars to make it an even ten and we'll get rid of this big guy there so we're going to color that three dollars in and we're going to grab ten dollars i hope you guys are having a great week i'm hoping to post this on maybe friday Friday or Saturday, I'm hoping to post this. So I hope it works out. I hope I have enough time to edit. I'm trying to get all of the things done before I leave on vacation. So these are some acorns and it is right in the same section. It's $12, so we're gonna add $1 and we'll put $13 in here. I'm trying to get all the things done that I need to get done before vacation. You know, we're getting last minute things that we need for the kiddos. And one, two, three. I am working on getting out the rest of my pending orders and my member mail and my giveaway stuff. I have a few more things to, to get out for all of those things. <laughs> so thank you guys for being patient and understanding. All right, so there's that. And then next one is order a medium cuppa. So we look are gonna go back to our cafe and we are gonna order a medium cuppa. So that means we have to add $2 to whatever drink we ordered. And let's go ahead and find a $3 drink. We'll add $2 and that equals five. So here is a $3 drink. Medium cuppa is $2, so three plus two is five. So that's why I'm adding in $5. I think the more I play these box games, the more I get used to like the different challenges and stuff like that. But you know, it is a little confusing in the beginning. All right, pie competition, save $3. So let's see, where do we go for that? Pie competition, save $3. And this just might be a little bonus because I know she said that, you know, she threw a little bonus in there. Oh, and that's not three, that's eight. <laughs> $8 because I'm a little blind, you guys. Okay, all I have is six, so we are gonna have a little IOU. And I don't know where I put my IOUs for this, because I did have them somewhere. So, hmm, let me just, hold on. 
Okay, guys, I found them. Here's the IOUs. So I'm just going to write an IOU for $2. And I'm just going to put $2 there. And I also got a bonus envelope. So this is going to be just for our little bonus savings cards that come up. So let's go ahead and put the $6 in there. And we'll put this into the back of the binder. Let me see. All right, so let's put this extra little envelope back here. Perfect. And then we'll put our little IOU in the front here. Will I see that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. If I just leave that there like that, I'll see it. But I wanted to decorate that, so it might look a little bit different next time. We didn't use our skips, so I'm just going to... I'm going to put these in here randomly. And then I am going to shuffle these cards back in here as well. All right. And then this will be all ready for next time. Okay, what are these? IOUs and then the pie competition. All right, this is so much fun, you guys. I love this different style of savings. All these box games have me a little obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have a couple more that I want to add in. I just need to figure out how. Okay, so we're going to put our cards back in our little box. And let me get set up for our Christmas box and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. <laughs> Ta-da! All right, we are going to be playing with the same amount of money. So we have 10, 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 dollars to play in our Christmas box. And before I start, I just wanted to show you guys something really quick. My sister Karen over at the Faithful Dash is going to be launching her savings challenges you guys as a physical product so she is going to be launching them on saturday like i said i hope this video goes up on friday so you can see it but you guys should head over to her head over to her channel she is at the faithful dash i'll have her channel linked in my description and her latest play and save video where she plays savings challenges she shows you guys what she is coming up with now i do have a few of her challenges so i'm just going to show you guys really quick I'm a hot mess hold please <laughs> and it's this cute little hot mess of a girl and this is just super cute and my sister is known for her always saying hold please and then she'll be right back <laughs> so this is super cute this is going to be in her shop she also did this one it's a bunch of cute little penguins on a beach and up here it says anini beach kawaii and this is actually a photo that she took of the beach when she went on her vacation uh, last summer I think it was and so this is kind of like she describes it as a little postcard from her to you if you so happen to purchase this challenge and it is a $50 challenge the hot mess hold please challenge is a mystery because I think there there might be a couple of different um, multipliers underneath the scratchers but this one is a 50 and it is super cute and then it's perfect for summer, right? And then this one is Budgeting Nerds. And I love this one so much. I think it's so cute because I feel like a total budgeting nerd myself. <laughs> like loving all of these challenges and all the fun little things. But how cute are those little nerds, you guys? Do you guys remember the commercials with the nerds and stuff? But anyways, on her channel, she did a whole thing about these little chewy sour, sour gummy nerd thingies. And they're really good. I tried them. But she's going to have this one as well. She has more. So if you guys want to see what else she's going to be launching, check out that play and save video from Karen at the Faithful Dash. All right, let's go ahead and get back into our Christmas box. So let's go ahead and open this up. I didn't get to decorate this as much as I wanted to either, but let's go ahead and start playing. Okay, so we are going to choose a card. These cards are already ready to go and oh it's a scratch and search so let me get my little scratcher tool all right so we are going to try and find the little holly leaf 
All right, and I'm just gonna put this to the side. I don't wanna have, get my vacuum out, so I'll take care of this in a minute. But let's go ahead and find our little holly leaf in our sections, and here it is, so it's $5. So let's go ahead and take this out. I believe I'm supposed to cross it off. If not, it's okay, and we will figure it out if we have to come back to the holly leaf. So the holly leaf is gonna get $5. How many of you guys are playing the Christmas box? <laughs> I know that there's several different Christmas boxes out there and they are all super cute. This one is from GB at Income Babes. All right, cookie charm, no tax. So let's find the cookie charm. Isn't the dashboard just super cute? Okay, so let's find the Christmas cookie. I don't know. Cookie charm. No tax. <laughs> and I don't know where it's at, you guys. Cookie charm. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> let's just, let's move on. Okay, another scratch and search. All right, and these are little candy canes. Let's try and find the candy canes. All right, here we go. So it's $14. So let's go ahead and put $14 in there. Whoops. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, $14. All right. And then let's cross off the candy cane. There we go. All right. So I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend or are going to have an awesome weekend. And let's see, here we go. A couple of important dates for me coming up is the 21st, which is Sunday, are my twins' birthday. It's their second birthday. All right, so this is a little like sweet little cupcake kind of dessert. And here it is for $10. So we are going to add $10 into section one. So yeah, my, my babies, they're going to be two years old on Sunday, the 21st. So crazy how fast time goes, right? Oops, let me cross that off. And then you guys, on the 27th, that is going to be my one year YouTube anniversary. Isn't that just crazy? Well, for me it is because I don't feel like I've been filming for that long like a whole year already that is just so crazy all right reindeer attack double the next card and this is going to be a search and save so we are going to find the holly leaf which is here and i had already crossed it off but that's okay and it's five dollars so we can add one two or three dollars and then we have to double it so we are going to do five plus six so we are going to do twelve dollars okay twelve dollars Let's color in that one. So $12, let's see if I have change in here. All right, $12, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we'll add 15 in here, five, 10, 15. A little backward math. <laughs> I find that to be a little bit easier for me to figure things out. And yay, this savings is adding up so fast, you guys. And I'm super excited because I feel like I am way ahead of the game for Christmas and I am loving it. All right, next one up is a little house and it is here on the same card. So again, for this, we're gonna add one, two or $3. So I don't know how much money I have. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have $9 and this is 11. So let's just add one for 12. So we should have to add $12, but I only have $9. So 9, 10, 11, 12, we're gonna have a $3 IOU, you guys. So let me write that down before I forget. <laughs> $3 IOU, okay. And let's go ahead and put this card to the side. Let's add this into our section two. All right, there we go. And I'm super excited to see how much we are gonna be saving with this challenge. I hope we finish it by the time Christmas comes around, right? Okay, so we're gonna just put that right there. $3 IOU, 
hopefully we see it for next time but that is it for our christmas box you guys that was so much fun right i just am having a great time with these all right i'm going to put these back i will figure out let me put this on the top because i want to figure out what that means the cookie charm if you guys know what that means please leave that in the comments for me okay Let's put our cards to the side. Let's put this away. Okay, you guys, here is our Christmas binder. And one thing I wanted to square away with you guys, which I didn't do last time, is we finished these two challenges. And I don't add these into my monthly randomizer amount that we divvy up into different categories. What I do with my finished savings challenges for Christmas is I put them in my Christmas envelope. So my Christmas binder envelope let me just move this to the side is here in my holiday envelopes and let's see let's go ahead and flip back here so i'm just going to add that in here and i do need to condense this down i need to get some placeholders going but let's just see how much we have you guys so this is a hundred dollars from our liz and less challenge i think i might have a Here's a hundred dollar bill. I'm gonna trade these 20s out for the hundred. And then for this challenge, we had $40. So let me put these to the side. All right. And let's see how much we have in our Christmas so far, you guys. All right, let me just put the newer 100s in there. Okay. Let's see if I can count. <laughs> we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. Whew, took all my breath away. $700. And then we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 125. So 700 plus 125 is $825, you guys, for Christmas already. That is amazing and I am so excited and I'm probably going to have more than what I really need. And so that'll just roll over, I think, into next Christmas maybe. We'll see. I don't know. But that is awesome, you guys. I'm so excited. And imagine if I were to empty out like all my binders right now. I mean, not all my binders, but like my Christmas binder and then my Christmas box. Like that's just adding more. So I am really super excited for this Christmas because I am over prepared. <laughs> now I just got to do the shopping. Okay. So we have 20, 40, or 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80 dollars. So we only have 80 dollars today, but that is okay because it just it is okay. <laughs> Let's get this into my cash tray. All right, and then let's go ahead and put this to the side here. And I see my little pom-pom. We have an IOU for $4. This is in our Tewa 2 Challenge Shades of Winter. So pretty. So we owe that $4. So let's see, I'm gonna get a one, put that back and grab a five. And then now all together we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars in our shades of winter. So pretty. All right, I'm just loving my Christmas binder, you guys. <laughs> Such pretty challenges in here, like this one. This is from my friend Eva over at budgetyourlife.com. Or she's Budget Your Life here on YouTube. And then she also has a .com, but she also opened an Etsy shop. So to make it more convenient for people. So she does have her Etsy shop open. All right, you guys, $2. Okay, so we have one $2. And I am, since I don't have a lot of money to play with, I'm just gonna go through these challenges even though I only have one more left. Ah, okay, let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, $25, guys. Okay, I'm going to put this all back and just grab 25, and then that'll make it easier for me. Okay, my husband just got home from the store, so you guys are probably gonna hear the door open in a minute, and that is okay. All right, so for this one, let me move that out of the way. These are our Christmas friends. It's a save $60, 
let's go ahead and scratch this one off and see what we have today. Oh, that's a big one. It's $11, you guys. And this is such a nice scratch. Okay. $11 in our Christmas friends. So let's go ahead and add a 10 and a one. Let's see how much we have all together. We have 10, 25, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 dollars for our challenge. And the total when this one is done is $60. This one is super cute and this is from Bookish Mama Budgets. If I forget to say, I try to have everybody listed in the description of my video. So check that out for all of these amazing shops. All right, this one is from Official Budgets and it's a bunch of Christmas drinks and it's pink and green and I just love those colors. All right, so we have $2 here and let's get that all scratched off. Okay, $2 and let's see, let's do one, two and three and grab a five. Okay, so now all together we have 20, 35, 41, right? 20, 35, 41, 40, $41. And this challenge is a $65 challenge. Super cute. All right, next up, this is by Budget with Carly and it's my bells don't jingle without coffee. It's a save $75 and it is just super cute as well. So let's do this one down here, and it is a $6. All right, five and six. How many of you guys are already all prepared for Christmas and are already Christmas shopping? I know it's Christmas in July, right guys? All right, 25, 30, one, two, $32. So it's Christmas in July. I know a lot of people start Christmas shopping in July. I like to start. Um, I might start buying gift cards just so that I don't have to worry about it when Christmas time comes. All right, this is Hot Chocolate Savings Challenge. This is by Janelle Ray Budgets and it is two-sided, but we are only gonna do one side today or right now or <laughs> this time. We'll save the other one maybe for next season, right? Okay, $5. Let's go ahead and add $5 into our money. Now we have 20, 35, 45, 46, 47, $48. Okay, $48. Awesome. Okay, next up is our wipeout challenge, you guys. I love this game. Hold on. Okay, this is by Budgeting Introvert, my friend Char. She created this super fun game. Let's go ahead and get my dice tower here. All right, so what we're gonna do is roll the dice and whatever we roll is gonna be our starter number and we're gonna write it up here in the box. So let me get a marker and let's see, number one. So number one is our starter number and then we're just gonna roll and whatever numbers we roll, we're gonna write in the little ornaments. And if we roll a one, we wipe out whatever we rolled prior to that one, if that makes sense. Okay, there's five, five. Wow, you guys, five, three, six, <laughs> uh-oh, two, Come on, one, five. All right, you guys, this could get pretty crazy. We only have one more chance for a one. Whoa, did you see that? It almost landed on one. Okay, so we didn't get any ones. I'm gonna play the low income way. I'm gonna add these all up, and then I'm gonna add the two digits together because let's see what it would be. So we've got five, 10, 15, and then nine, and then seven, and then eight. So that would be $39. Um, no. <laughs> so we're gonna add the three and the nine. That's gonna be $12, okay? So we are gonna do, I'm just gonna put 12 because that's how much I'm gonna save. And you know what, that's okay. I think that's what's great about savings challenges is you can tailor them to your budget. So if something is a little too much, like this one was for me, you can tweak it like I did. All right, so we have 10, 20, one, two, three, and four. 
$24 in our wipeout. This is so much fun, you guys. I really am loving this challenge. All right, so let's get this out of the way. Okay, guys, next up is our Merry Christmas game. This is the game that my friend Erica gifted to me. This is from Esme Savings Adventure. And let's go ahead and roll. This is where I left off. So here is my little guy. Let's take our paper clip off. There's my guy. All right, after I dropped all the cards, <laughs> there they are. Let's go ahead and give this a roll. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to say $5. And let's roll again. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's three dollars. One, two, and three. Let's go ahead and roll one more time and see if we're gonna get a card. Two. One, two. <gasps> is that an actual card, you guys? I think it is. Okay, so those are little Christmas bells. So let's look for the stamp of the Christmas bells. So um here they are. Yay! Super fun, you guys. Okay. This says, Dear Santa, this Christmas I would like a train. So what we did is we matched the stamp to this stamp, and that's what we're going to scratch off. Okay, one dollar, you guys. I am gonna fix that later. All right, so one dollar. Yay, that is so much fun. Where's my little clippy? Let's save that space. So one dollar, and that is super fun, you guys. Let's see how much we have all together now. We got quite a bit of money in here. <laughs> all right, let's see. We have 10, 20, 5, 30. Wait, let's count that over. 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50. One, two, three, four, five, six. So fifty-six dollars. I am gonna put back ten. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna grab that ten dollar bill and we shall put this away. How fun is that? Yay, I got to scratch off a card. I didn't get to scratch one off last time and I was a little bummed out, so I'm super happy that I got to do it this time. All right, you guys, we are going to be playing in ah, Liz and Les's challenge. I am super excited. All right, so here is her little envelope that I have, and I have all of the little sticker challenges that we need to play in here. So let's see. How many challenges are there in here, you guys? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yes, six. So I'm gonna roll the dice and then that's gonna dictate which challenge we're gonna play. Cause I hate trying to make a decision. All right, so one, two, and three. Okay, Baking Spirits Bright. This is so cute. I have the actual savings challenge, but I haven't played it yet. So this is perfect cause I'll just play it in here. All right, so we get to choose an amount of money. Let's see what I got in here. Let's go ahead and do $9. And I'm just gonna pick either a top or the bottom. I'm not gonna do all the top or all the bottom. I might do a mix. So we'll be surprised at the end how much it is. So for this one, it's nine or 15. Let's just go ahead and do nine. So let's just start that little cookie off in the middle. Super cute. So there's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I just love this, you guys. You guys know that I love Liz's sticker challenges, and when I saw she was coming out with this book, I like was super excited. It is super cute, it's her first book ever, and I just think she did a super great job, and I just love it so much. Okay, let's do, let's do one more. So let's roll and see what we're gonna play. Four, all right, so this was one, two, three, four. Mrs. Claus, Mrs. Claus's, <laughs> Mrs. Claus's cookie baking contest. All right, so where do we start? Um, start here, <laughs> duh. Okay, we're gonna start there. Let's go ahead and roll one. 
All right, so this is six. So we're gonna save five and six. And let's go ahead and roll one more time. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, $14. So we've got five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You guys, how perfect is that? Thanks, Liz, you made me not have an IOU. So let's go ahead and let's see, roll a die, save that amount. Color the dot to save your last place. You'll hit some fun twists and turns. Oh, there's little circles that we can fill in to show that we've already been on that spot. How cool is that? I love it. There we go. Now I just have to remember that I did that. <laughs> all right, let's see how much we have all together now. So amazing that I did not have an IOU, you guys. Yay, super excited about that. And we played with an odd amount, right? I think we did, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Someone said in all my videos, I say I don't remember like at least once and it's true. I gotta condense this down you guys cause this is kind of fat. Let's see how much we have all together and then if I can condense this. Okay, so we have 10, 15, 20, five, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 dollars. Hold on. Okay, so here's 50 and then five. So 55 dollars. This is gonna go back to the my little banking envelope over there. Okay, so 55 dollars, you guys. How exciting is that? Yay, I just love this so much. Okay, super cute. Let's go ahead and tuck this back in here. And it fits perfectly. I'm just keeping it back here in my binder. It fits perfectly back here. Well, it did. <laughs> ah, there we go. We just need to do it just so. Okay, so cute. There it goes, all nice and safe, tucked away in my Christmas binder. And yay, you guys, that was awesome. That was some good savings today, right? Okay, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to check out my sister's channel and her Etsy shop for her launch on Saturday. All right, see you later. Bye.